I'm going to show you and explain all of the different ways of transmitting power using your cables in IC2, otherwise known as Industrial Craft 2. So the first thing you need to know is that IC2 works with voltages. These machines here are low voltage, okay? And we have um, five different levels of voltages in IC2. So we have our tin cable. This can go up to 32 EU per tick, and that is the voltage rate, so 32. Then we have copper cable, which, in fact, I'm just going to show you in here. Here we go. So we've got copper, sorry, where's tin? Tin, tin, tin. Uh, there we go. Tin cable is at 32 EU per tick. That's how much it can transmit, and that is the voltage. Higher voltages can actually transmit lower voltages, but obviously lower voltages cannot transmit higher voltages. You will get a nasty shock if you touch them. So if we look at how to make tin cables, you can actually make them with a pair of cutters on a tin plate, and plates are made with a hammer, or they're made in a metal former. You can also, in the metal former, put in a tin ingot and put it to this um, like thing, I think is extruding, um, but as long as it looks like that, you're going to make cables, and you can get free cables from one ingot. Or you can also get a plate and set it to cutting and get free tin cables as well. So these will give you a shock. Now, you can see here that per block, it will lose 0 0.2 EU. So it transmits 32 EU a tick, but every single block you do will lose 0 0.2. So after 10 blocks, it will act like so 10, 10 length of cable it will actually lose um, from end to end 2 EU. We can then get insulated ones, which basically is just using rubber with your tin cable. And that means that you won't be hurt when touching them, because obviously it could, it could electric shock you. Um, so when you have an insulated one, it won't hurt you. The next one up is copper. And this is our medium voltage. And this can actually run at 128 EU per tick, and the same loss. And again, insulated means you won't be hurt by it. After that, we have our high voltage, which is 512. And the loss there is going to be 0 0.4 per block. And there is uninsulated, insulated, and two times insulated. Two times insulated requires either two rubber on a gold cable or one rubber on an already once insulated. Once insulated will mean you take less damage but two times means you won't take any damage. Then we have high voltage. Again, this is using iron, so that is 2,048 EU per tick and loses 80 per block. And we have one times insulated, two times, and three times insulated on there. After that, we then have glass fiber, which is extreme voltage, but if you can see here, the loss on it is so, so low. 0 0.025 per block, so it's the best on... It, it's nearly lossless um, EU, and it actually can transmit up to 8,192 EU per tick, and that is glass fibre. So again, we're starting off with tin, then copper, then gold, then high voltage. You can see the different thicknesses here based on insulation. And then we have glass fiber, which won't hurt you when you touch it, and also is the highest transmitter with the lowest loss. And to connect it to your actual machines, you can connect it just like this, right-clicking it onto machines here. And then if you want to store power, we have things like bat boxes here, where you can put it in at any side, it'll automatically connect, and you can output on this white dot here. We also have things like transformers going from different voltages. So I've got here tin cable on a low voltage, and this is a low voltage transformer. And then the yellow side is going from copper cable for medium voltage. I can still put copper cable here if I want. It's not going to make a difference. Just because the copper cable can take higher voltage, you know, it doesn't matter because we know that this side on our transformer is lower voltage. So it just means that copper can take more voltage. Now, if you actually put copper, um, or let's say tin cable on, if I put tin cable on here, and it's actually accepting medium voltage, the cable will burn up. It will literally just disintegrate because the voltage is too high. So again, you can use a higher voltage cable with a lower voltage, but you cannot, of course, use a higher voltage with a lower voltage cable. And that is how you use 
cables in IC2 or Industrial Craft 2. If you did find this video useful, check out the playlist now on screen from all of my IC2 tutorials. I have done the entire mod for you and check out my channel. My goal on this channel, if you new, are new here, is that I cover every single Minecraft mod in completion for you guys. That is my end goal on this channel. So please do subscribe, leave a thumbs up, etc. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon in the description.